anniversary and at this point, Thursday 11 years ago, I had not been diagnosed with herpes yet. I went in on Tuesday to get diagnosed and I hadn't received my, my results. So I'm still in this limbo phase, I'm in this still freaking out phase, I'm physically in a lot of pain, I'm emotionally in a lot of pain, I, 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 I'm besides myself, right? Like I, I don't know what's going on. So let me fast forward to 11 years later, where we are today. Back 11 years ago, I truly believed that if I was diagnosed with herpes, my hopes and dreams would not come true. I didn't believe I could get married. I, well, I thought I could get married, but not to somebody I loved. I thought I really had to settle. I didn't know that I could um, create the life I wanted. I didn't know if I'd be a mom. I didn't know all these things, all these fears, because you're waiting for a diagnosis you don't know, and you're just like, what's gonna happen? So let me just kind of bring you fast forward. Um, in 2017, my husband and I, we got married. Um, I did not settle. I'm madly in love with my husband, and that was a really exciting time, uh, especially I did disclose to him, and that was, he was just so uh, like warm, welcoming. It wasn't, it wasn't even a big deal to him, and this is something that we talk about a lot in our emergency calls, especially in our support group calls, is like, it should be your easiest, hardest conversation you have with somebody. It, it, it shouldn't be something that's like a make or break. So Bill and I got married 2017. We're now in 2022, so it's been a few years. And one of the other things that I didn't know if I wanted to do, but I did ask my doctor, can I have a baby? Is having herpes gonna impact or influence or have anything to do with fertility and things like that? And so along the journey, Bill and I ended up going through IVF. And that was, that was a, a really big journey because, I mean, you wanna have a baby and you're like, I'm not getting pregnant, what's going on? So we went through IVF and actually during that whole process, we did have some ups and downs. We were on our way to the doctor's office and we, the embryo didn't defrost. So um, the little embryo that was supposed to be implanted did not survive. And that was probably one of the hardest days in our marriage that we've been through. Um, a lot of times we put this impact that herpes is gonna be the biggest impact in your relationship or your marriage and that's absolutely false. There's a lot bigger fish to fry, especially in life, in a marriage, things like that, that herpes has nothing to do, deal with it. Now, fast forward, I, we have little Clinton. He, we brought him into this world in 2020, and um, he's just been an absolute joy in our life. So a lot of you may be thinking, did I have to go through IVF because I have herpes? And no, herpes had nothing to do with it. Again, this is something I really wanna hone in on, and, and a point I really wanna make a point of is, we think that herpes is gonna impact everything in our life. Like it's gonna impact our love, our being a, a mom or a dad, all this stuff. Herpes had nothing to do with Bill and I going through IVF. It had everything to do with the egg and the sperm needing to come together. Um, also moving on, again, what I really wanna get at is, if you're in this phase of do I have it, do I not have it, I was just diagnosed, whatever phase you're in, if you're in the oh shit phase, Everything's possible in life. Like, yeah, I have herpes. Okay, I'm not gonna let it hold me back. I'm not gonna let it keep me from doing the things that I want to do, that I love to do. I, I love my husband, I love my little boy, I love my life. I, I do what I want and it's, it's not like, oh, I can't do this because I have herpes. I don't hold myself back.